thankfully there was no jaws under the water. Hi everyone! As you might have already seen in the previous videos, at the end of October I went to Norway for a week. Sorry for the noise, my cat has the zoomies and she's running around. Also it's the first time I'm using my new microphone and she wants to be in the recording as well. Anyway, at the end of October I went to Norway for a week and on my first day in the Norwegian capital I was very, very surprised to see people diving into the fjord while it was snowing. At first I thought, why would anyone ever do that? Then of course I noticed there were floating saunas all around them. I was going to comment on the ship there, but then I noticed the seagull is perplexed as well. I just remembered I did the same thing in a hole in a frozen river in Finland after a sauna, so I must be crazy as well. I didn't think that there was a sauna there, but now I understand and I would love to do it as well. I regret not bringing a swimsuit. Gosh, I love a sauna. <laughs> need to come back to Oslo. And that turned out to be my favorite thing I did in Norway. As a matter of fact, I'm a big fan of thermal baths, saunas and anything related to heat and water. As I didn't know that I would try out this experience, I had in fact a swimsuit. What would I give to have brought a bikini to be able to go in those saunas? I'm seriously tempted to go and ask if they sell bikinis on the spot. So I went looking for one, which I found in H&M. I've got good news! The public sauna in front of the opera had a free spot tonight at 8.30 until 10 o'clock. The ritual lasts 90 minutes, including the changing. And so I'm going to do the sauna. I just couldn't not go. I was lucky enough to find availability on that same night, my last night in Oslo before flying to Bergen. I loved that experience so much. I did the same thing in Bergen a few days later. As I had the swimsuit already, why not take advantage of it? In this video I'll be sharing the two experiences. At the end I'll also tell you which one I liked best and why. I can't wait to be in the boiling hot sauna. I still haven't decided whether I'll have a dip in the fjord or not. Let's see what happens. It felt great. I didn't swim because it's very dangerous to swim alone and if I had disappeared in the dark waters of Oslo no one would have noticed. So I just dipped in and out while holding myself to the stairs. I mean if you are walking outside and you see people in the water you think they're crazy but when you've been in the sauna and you go out it feels amazing even if it's zero degrees. I must say I was surprised because it was really simple and also no one checks on you so everything is at your own risk which is fair enough. We are adults and we need to be to look after ourselves but yeah you need to be really careful to not sleep and fall into the sea or something. <laughs> the experience is 16 euros. You've got three saunas at three different temperatures. Usually you've even got four saunas but one was closed and you've got private saunas or public saunas but I paid 16 euros for a public sauna and it was a shared experience. So beautiful, really simple, like forget a hot shower, hair dryer, none of that. You only get a cold shower. I just dipped into the water, but now when I get back to the hotel, I'll have a shower, a warm shower. I can't seem to, to have dinner in Oslo. I 
I loved doing this one. I know slow so much that I'm going to do another one. I'm walking to the place where you can have the sauna. It's a 30 minute walk from the hotel. I looked at Uber prices, but it was 16 euros. And if I wanted to get a bus, I would have to walk 15 minutes, then get the bus and then walk five minutes. So I thought there was no point. I might as well walk, but it's a long walk. The location of this sauna is not as handy as Oslo, which was close to the center in front of the opera but i'm sure for a nice hot sauna it's going to be worth it and also on the website it says that the owner was inspired by the sauna in oslo so she decided to open one here as well oh, I told her that I changed, but i don't think that i can and I told her I'd stay away from women in the deals But I'm sorry, girl, I can't no jaws under the water tonight i'm eating mexican i hope i'm not the last one in the restaurant of oh, it is oh god that looks like a huge warship Unfortunately, it's my last night in Bergen. Tomorrow morning, I'm flying back to Scotland. Today, I loved the sauna and this time I jumped into the water. And as you can see, thankfully, I resurfaced after my jump. <laughs> I must say, I liked the sauna in Bergen more than I did the Oslo one, even though in Bergen, we were allowed only in one sauna, while in Oslo, we had three. But I like the group better and also after the sauna you could go into a kind of swimming pool to have a shower, a warm shower and get changed. And also there was an Italian couple which was lovely so we spoke a bit because I didn't meet anyone during this trip. And so I liked, I loved it. I perhaps liked the view in Oslo more because obviously it was incredible over the opera. However, I liked that in Bergen I've been able to have a hot shower just a few steps from the floating sauna and also it was nice to chat with someone. So all in all, I would say that I liked Bergen better and also I didn't film it, but I swear I did it. I went fully underwater with my hair as well. I mean, I jumped, so that was nice because I did the whole thing while in Oslo I just had a dip when the end is the beginning all you need to do is start my flight is almost three hours late
There's freezing drafts of cold wind coming in. 